Yo, what's up, guys? Axelite Fox Ninja here, and we are back with our video. And that was a weak snap, I think. Well, whatever. Here, let's do it again. There we go. That's I do it with one hand so I could focus. But yeah, we're back. We're playing the boss. Let's get right into it. Uh, uh, why is auto save doing that? I don't. Know. Okay, so I'm back here. Phew. I should update the autosave file. Yep, there we go. I don't know why that didn't update. So yeah, we've talked to everyone in here, if I recall, so let's go on through. And, yeah, I'm probably gonna delay Undertale as much, because Undertale came out in 2015, and The Boss, and Hearts and Heroes came out more recently, so, you know. So, uh, who should we talk to first? So there's the Night in the Woods cast, so let's, let's talk to B. Are you smoking in my recording room? Yes and no. This is your room and I do have a cigarette in my mouth, but I am not smoking. But it's glowing. My cigarettes are all lit. It's the only way they were drawn. Then why do you have it out? Because having it with me makes it easier to tolerate my friends. Well, wow, harsh. But I thought you loved us! I do. That's why I have the cigarette instead of avoiding you at all costs. See, I'm trying to follow how Jack would do the no voices normally. But Jack, if at any point you do smell smoke, I advise you to check the kitchen. <coughs> or don't! That works too! Hey, Angus. Hi. How come your sprite doesn't turn to look at me when I talk to you? None of us has a profile sprite. We only ever face forward in our game. That, m that must suck. <laughs> it's way too easy to sneak up on us. Yeah, one time I snuck up on Greg and he turned around and he hit me in the face with a fluorescent light bulb. Oh my gosh, shut up, Klaus. Hit, hit me in the face with a fluorescent light bulb like the ones they have at the store and it looked like I'd been balled by a bear. At Ospo, we told everyone Freddy did it. You all have a, you all have a hospital. You all have a hospital. Surgeon Simulator. Oh gosh, that's horrible. Hey Jack, we heard you were here. We figured it was another one of Sans's pranks. Nope, I'm here in the flash. Code. Ah! Greg. Oh yeah, uh, Dying in the Woods um, has been casted. I'm not in it, unfortunately. I did try for not Greg, uh, Casey. But I, it's apparently not meant to be, so I'll, be, I'll still be reacting to it when it comes out. And I really wish I reacted to the neutral package, because that would have been really good. Yeah, Greg's been, Greg's been really excited to meet you. It's Jack! To be honest, I don't think any of us really thought you'd show up. I said it was impossible. I was wrong. It's so cool to meet you guys. Yeah, we've been catching up. We're always happy to meet brand new game characters. Greta, Greg and I have really hit it off. You know it! Well, thanks for coming to visit us. Hopefully you're not, like, lame or something. Nah, you're not lame. I liked your game a lot. Flatty, flattery will get you everywhere. Can't, I can't do maze voices. That's just because you're too easy. You're easy to please. Yep. Uh, hi, Papyrus, how you doing? So, Jack, your house is very nice and sturdy and not leaning on for or on fire. Is there something you want to tell me, Papyrus? What I have to tell you? No, nope, nothing to report. You're back! You haven't been in the kitchen, have you? Should I? Nope, nothing there. Nothing to see. I already saw. Off these. Oh, good. I see you have my hydro dispersion key. Thank you. You're very welcome. It was no problem. Speak for yourself. <laughs> S sorry, I don't think I recognize you, Jack's utter companion. Oh, I'm Jenny. Nice to meet you, Alphys. You were always my favorite. L wow, really? Thanks. Did you make any progress on that firewall? Well, sorry, Jack, but whoever installed it really knew what they were doing. I can't 
make a dent in it. The best I can do is send you for the rest of the keys. So back to Wireland for the next two keys. It, if you don't mind. You were gone a really long time this time. What'd you do? You really don't want to know what we went through for this part. Well, I'm glad you're back, and now you brought new friends. Do you know what game she's from on 9? Well, I'm not from a game. Not really. Whoa, are you another player? Yeah, I love your game. It's one of my favorites. No love for mine, I see. Everyone has their own opinion. Actually, Alphys, I have a question for you. Well, for all of you, really. How come some of the Wireland residents act exactly like their game counterparts while others don't? It's s sort of a combination of canon whatever life the player gives us. I give you life? Of course, you influence canon as much as canon. So you're that god in the forest. I don't know, I just can't voice me. What? No, I'm not a god. But you gave us life. Wait, I got it. Maybe we're all Frankensteins. Actually, Jack is Frankenstein. We're all just monsters. That's actually the correct term. Oh, uh, wait, if we're monsters, does that mean I can't love Angus anymore? Well, Alphys and Undyne love each other and they're monsters, so you two should be fine. Good save. I was just about to take offense to that, Greg. Moving back to the topic, how do I influence canon? You, you kind of fill in all the gaps the writers left out, like giving us voices and our little stories. Oh, is that why Alphys and I sound really similar? I always just thought it was because we're, we're, we're separated at birth. We look so much alike. Wait, then when, why do un, why do Undyne I sound alike? He's only one man. He can only do so many voices. Fortunately, mine is unique. Like a snowflake! <laughs> no. Well, in rare cases, characters might get enough attention that they gain sort of gave their own personality. Exactly. Otherwise, the characters d default to canon and nothing else. So long story short, I'm screwed if I run into any villainous characters from games I didn't get much attention. Oh man, you'd be in serious danger. So please be careful, Jack and Billy and Jenny. Th there's a chance they might re resent you for not giving them the attention they wanted. Evil characters with a grudge, great. Yep, excited yet? Please don't die right after beating us, we already have enough dead people in our game. But if you do die, at least send us back a limb. So I might as well make Alfie's and uh, May's voice similar. We promised the Poke able to stick! Well anyway, here's the Hydrospersion key, Alfie's. Thanks, I've pr programmed the front door to lead to the approximate location of the next key. Okie dokie, come on team! Alright, I gotta hold on, I gotta do something, I'll edit this out. Alright. Woo! That was annoying. Oh yeah. Hold on, I gotta turn off Wi-Fi, cause someone in this house is having a Zoom meeting. Yay! Okay, there we go. We can get back to playing the game. Come on. Oh my gosh, yeah. There, okay. Get my mouse off screen too while I'm at it. Um, so I gotta go back into Wireland. Who I'm definitely never- oh yeah. I should see what's been going on here. Oh. Oh, can I go to the shop? Um, have I always had this red carpet? Oh boy, this is a long line, I can't read it. Hey Jack and friends. Spiller, remember? Sorry, kinda new here, but we love it. Wireless great, pretty welcoming. It was okay. Played your game months ago. Well, you can't expect us to know everyone's names by now. This place is massive. I bet most game characters only have a place to get gigantic. Yeah, most people. Okay, whatever. Ah, <sighs> jeez, <gasps> Toriel. <laughs> I don't. Sorry, I don't know any of you. So, I... well, where are you? Somewhere, you. 
Oh, these good guys are cute. Was that Frisk? Hi, Frisk. Hey. Don't talk all that much. One drawback's being kind of an empty slate character. Oh, sorry about that. They make really good origami, actually. You should see their collection. I think Alfie saw them when they got locked in a meat freezer together. They got locked in a meat freezer together? It wasn't plugged... It wasn't plugged in, so they didn't freeze, but yeah. It's kind of a long story. Oh, man, I've never seen Tori yell, yell like that. It's actually kind of scary. Well, we're about to talk to Tori And I need water, because my throat is already starting to hurt. Oh, I just realized Sans is wearing a jack hoodie. That's fun. Okay, good. My mic's still on. How about recording? Recording's good. Good. Looks like you sold a lot of merchandise here. Huh, <laughs> really? Hot dog. Nice one. <laughs> All right. Toriel. Why, hello, Jack. It is lovely to finally meet you. Are you in line to buy something? Oh no, I am merely hopping around the house and shop, mostly just with keeping things tidy. I guess you don't really have enough time for baking then. Well, I could, I could always do that while I'm cleaning, but it's best if I delay it until the kitchen is in a more suitable state for baking. I should have figured. I love papyrus and undine as if they were my brother and sister. But sometimes, I must not dwell on the negatives. They are such wonderful people when they are not committing arson. But I'm glad that you enjoy my cooking. When the oven has been repaired, I shall bake you one of my favorites. Butterscotch cinnamon pie? Even better, snail pie. Sounds fantastic. I am only joking, dear. I will give key lime pie. I will give key lime pie a try. It's Undine's favorite, you know. It's certainly safer than eating limes whole. What a choking hazard. Knowing her, she can handle it. Pyrus had to give her the Heimlich maneuver for 30 minutes ago because of a lime. You should probably remind her to chew, and then she can handle it. Yep. Wait, who's this? Wow, the line is barely moved. Sorry about that. Oh, I think if I'm more stuff to burn. Of course! Um, person who's, I don't know what game you're from. Not a yeah, what are you gonna do? Oh, it's Mark! Hmm, I hadn't thought, about, I thought that far ahead. What do you think I should do? You go into politics and become ruler of Wildland. Now I could use that power to make Chica the official operating system dog. Great idea, Jack. Oh, Chica. How's the field of Galvia? Seeing as your merchandise is the only thing we can wear other than these cop clothes, freedom is Nesca's Idaho. I've got great merch. Just bring me back some real clothes if you can. Fine, pewds. But you can take some really awesome pictures now that you're free. Yeah, Chloe and I were going to head over to Last Garden to see if I could get a good shot there. Awesome. I'll see uh, good pictures later or whatever. Yep, there's Frisk, okay. And that's everyone I know. There's also someone wearing a helmet, but... Uh, yep, okay, I can go. Oh. Oh, yay! This should be fun. Oh, great, Five Nights at Freddy's. I'm definitely screwed. Oh, yeah, because he, he didn't complete the game. That's what you get, Jack. He didn't even give them personalities, but... I mean, if there was a game based off me that was like this, then the characters would definitely have personalities. We never go to the bathroom in the game, so let's check the security booth for the hydrospersion key first. Yep. Is it gonna be- Oh, is this gonna be like an element with, um... Stay back! Stay back! Don't kill me! Whoa, hey, calm down. We're not here to hurt you. I have a frying pan! I'm not afraid to- are you Jacksepticeye? It's you! It's you! It's ja is Jacksepticeye here to rescue me from my certain horrible fate. I see Baby up there. I don't know if that's... You don't understand. I'm your biggest fan. I'm so honored to meet you. Beyond honored. Happy. Excited. Adjectives I cannot found at this happy, happy time. You're my hero. 
Literally. Unless I died. Oh well, if I died, that's... Oh no, if I die meeting you, that means you died too. <laughs> no. <laughs> hey buddy, calm down, you're gonna give yourself a heart attack. Yeah, you're probably right. I'm just so excited to finally meet you after all these years. I'm Cliff. Cliff Smedley. Okay, I think I... His name s sounds familiar because I think they addressed it in the game. Hello, Cliff. I think you already know me already. This here is Billy and Jenny. Billy, that's so funny. You look just like Happy Wheels, Billy. Yeah, so I hear. Are you a nice subscriber? How did you get here? Well, I was watching Jack's newest video and then... But suddenly, I was here, and FNAF with the animatronics and not nearly enough battery power to get through. I didn't see anyone coming in. As far as I can tell, they're not programmed to attack anyone going in. It's coming out that's a problem. Because they're programmed to kill anything in the security booth, of course. Cor correct Amundo. Well, there's four of us now. Maybe we could overpower them? Sure, one on one. That won't result in death at all. He's right, that's probably a bad idea. Is there a way we could lure the animatronics away? There is a music box out there. Baby's move route leads right to it. If you turn it on, they're supposed to go on stage. Let's think about signaling the start of the show. Handbook isn't very clear on that, actually. Something's at the door and the power is only at 10%. Okay, we need, we're going to need to come up with a plan and fast. What if we took all the computer parts out of Baby and put someone inside? Damachonks probably wouldn't know the difference. I did find a bunch of programming instructions and protocols for her, but it doesn't matter. I'm too big for the suit. Well... Billy? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no! There's no other option. I'm not dressing up as Baby! No way! You want to be useful, here's your chance. Yeah, Billy, you can do it. I believe in you, Billy. You know I don't really know you. Fine, but you owe me big time. This should be interesting. You all suck. <laughs> Make us proud, Billy. The blueprints for the building and Baby's route are on the table. It should be pretty simple to figure out where to go. Oh, here, I'm gonna save first. Uh, hello? 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 Well, if you're hearing this, congratulations! Uh, hello? hello? 8 steps hello? turn, 12 well, turn, 6 this, turn, 11 turn, 7 turn, 8 turn, and 8 it steps. Your... Oh, wait. I think the tile, the counter's broken. <laughs> Baby well, starts hey, here. I just wanted to leave you a message about Baby. Now, you may have seen her in the corner for however long you worked here. Now, don't worry about the wild rumors or stories that possibly disgruntled or, or, or mentally ill ex-employees have been perpetuating. These are not substantive and Fazbear Entertainment bears no responsibility for, <laughs> well, all of that. Now, we used to have an actual person inside a baby way back when. Uh, Mike was his name. Nice guy. He's uh, moved on now. Uh, not that he's dead. Ah, so then I turn. Uh, uh, he, so uh, I do eight steps turn. Well, physical therapy is a great thing when you keep at it. But, uh, we decided to change the protocols regarding her. Now, don't worry. We're not going to ask you to don the suit. Mike was... Well, he was kind of small, so that made sense for him. Uh, we haven't been able to uh, find anyone else of his stature, um, you know, willing to try that again. Not to worry, though. We've uh, come so up with a solution. One, wait, when you do your one, rounds, two, you may have noticed that three, some of the tiles on the floor have brown squares instead of black. Four, five, no, that's not six, the work of four interior seven, design. Eight. We already learned that lesson the hard way. Um, the brown squares mark the changing spots. Now, Baby has a very set route to the stage so that she can be visible to children. So then, six, one, two, like three, that, you know? four, five, six. It makes six. them feel like part of the show, but since Baby's original purpose was to be just a suit, the animatronics we 
this is too short of an area to go to. Well, we'll figure it out. So we're saved, pretty much. So I'm, I've got the basis of what I need to do. Okay, this is where it starts. So I need to move eight squares, and I have to turn and move twelve. Hopefully, I can, hopefully I calculated it correctly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. What's that? That must be a charging station. I'm on the right track. Uh oh. And jeez. Oh no 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 no! I think I just stopped off the right path. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, and I can just continue on here. And the other guys are there too. Okay. Same charging station. How long to go? Okay, well, this game does make it easy for me, so that's good. Okay. Oh, relief. Hopefully this keeps them nice and distracted. Uh-oh. He did it. I think we're safe. That's a relief. Okay, so here's the plan. We're going to have to split up to look for something called a hydrospersion cube. So, it didn't really matter. Splitting up? Alone with no one else and no hope? Alone? Lonely loner? No, Jack's right. We'll cover a lot more ground that way. Where do you need us to go? I, uh, didn't know I was the team leader. Hey, bruh, this is your computer. Fair point. Anyway, I'll check the storage room out there. Cliff, you can check the bathrooms, and Jenny, you can check the kitchen. Sure, Jack. Send the girl to the kitchen. Send the only girl to the kitchen. Smooth. That has nothing to do with it. Come and think of it, I'll go to the kitchen. There might be cake. That works out. I'm di I'm diabetic. It's probably not a good idea to risk even coated cake. Hmm. Do I still have to check the icky smelly bathroom? Yes. Well, if you insist. Well, if you find cake in the kitchen, you owe me. Understood. It's out there, safe out there now, as long as we don't go near Billy and the animatronics. Alright. Let's see, if I were a computer part hiding in the bathroom, where would I hide? Well, let's save for right now. Hey, Sam. And right now, I want to check to see... Okay, timing's good. We still got quite a bit. Uh, urinals. Pretty sure I'll need this one stuck in the computer. Thought I wouldn't want to use this one even if I need to. I don't know if I can handle all this stress. <laughs> I wonder what sort of banner that is. What does that have to do with creepy animatronics? Is there some sort of conspiracy? I can't see what that says. Is there a hostile takeover I don't know about? Man, where's Matt Pat when you need him? <laughs> I wonder if he'll actually be a character, but I don't even want to know what kind of horrors that plunger has seen. I don't know. Can't say I'm on a roll searching for this computer thingy. I and mean, that one wasn't good. Thank goodness there was no audience. <laughs> that's that's very ironic considering I'm posting this lo just straight up to YouTube. <laughs> All the searching is really draining. Pass. Let's see. Creepy door hidden in bathroom stall. It's open or not so open? That's the question. Oh, what the heck? Spring trap. What? Oh, this is the person from Franbo or whatever. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. You came here because Mr. Midnight Midnight is missing, didn't you? You're what now? Mr. Mr. Midnight. I cannot find him. Well, ain't that just the pits. I will help you find your Mr. Midnight. Just one thing I need to know. Yes? Who is Mr. Midnight? He's my kitty, of course. Yeah, Franbo character, I... I don't know. This art style kind of creeps me out, so I don't know. And the type here looks like the one from them, uh, Hearts and Heroes. We'll never fear. I, Cliff Smedley, will find your kitty or die trying. Preferably without the dying. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. Okay, just gotta find a cat, right? Safe, appropriately named, seeing as I can't get into it. Whoever's in here is safe. So, um, 
Please tell me to give my kitty back. It's okay, I, I know the feeling. I lost my hamster once. I found her under my dresser. She's a little worse for wear, but, but what's that's what happens when you don't love your master person. She's in the better place now. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. But she likes living in my brother's room better anyways, so I guess it's all for the best. I still got Rufus and Pedro. They're your hamsters? My fish. They're more faithful and they can never leave me. That's true. It's kind of dark, honestly. Something like that. No! Okay. Let's look. Take the. Take the. Okay, there's a red pill. Man, if Shadow and Amy were in the room right now, I'd have to let him leap headfirst into this trash can. OTP! I don't understand the reference. Pre flowers. Plastic, though. Leprechaun hat. I wonder if Jack would find his computer racist for having this here. <laughs> that doesn't look like all over on it. That's an angry looking bear. Guess I'm not bringing it home to my little sister. Poor Willa. Hope she's okay without me. I mean, she's got mom and dad and Eric, but... Come on, Cliffy. Snap out of it. You'll be home to her in no time. Why do I feel like he's gonna die? <laughs> People always say I'm an open book. But I don't think I want to read tree surgery for dummies. I'm a proud dummy. I always wanted to be King Arthur. <laughs> oh well, I should have eaten my Brussels sprouts like my mom said. Ugh. I mean, I eat like a lot of greens, like not peppers though. Like, I like broccoli. Broccoli is fine for me, honestly. I wonder how many diagnoses have been given to patients sitting atop this chair. Oh chair, tell me your secrets. Can't lie down on the job. I might as well just take the red pill then. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Midnight, well, that was super easy. Oh. Oh, this is what happens in Frambo. <laughs> is Fran alright? I'm afraid we've been separated. I'll try and do like a calf voice. She's fine. Maybe you should take one of these yellow pills. She's right here in this room. I'm afraid I cannot. Fran and I have been separated through a dark ritual. Perhaps you can help reunite us. Well, I've never performed a dark ritual before, but I guess there's a first time for everything. There should be an instruction sheet in that old library. Try checking that. Will do. Sorry, I just... See, I don't know a lot of the games. Like, I know a lot more Mark's games. I'm hearing whispers in these files are nor are now written in runes. I'm shutting this cabinet before the rites are completed and I'm killed by a squid from another world. Interesting. Wait, why do you say I need to get... I just, I literally just forgot. Okay. So, I don't know who... That's a mannequin, right? Right? Oh, I thought that was Fran. Top of the morning! Whoa. That's funny here. Tables seem better days, but the days have never been better for those spiders. Sure that. Ew. I'll just save to here. Why are these bloody claw prints on here? And why would this be in the library? I think I'm asking the important questions here. Uh, yellow pill. Take the yellow pill. Ah. Then. Please help me get my key back. It's okay, I know a feeling else. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that's interesting how that works. Oh, the pills just turn into different stuff. What's me? If the High Inquisitor walks through here, I guess I can feign ignorance. I should watch Jack watch. I should watch. I should Jack watch Frambo. No, I need to watch Jack play Frambo. It's definitely not a good idea to flip a switch without knowing what it does. True that. Nope. No, uh I'm not jumping in there. I refuse. Okay. <laughs> I'm such a troll. <laughs> Suddenly the beers look like alchemy ingredients. Really disgusting alchemy ingredients. Not that the ketchup beer wasn't disgusting. 
Ugh. I mean, I like to put ketchup on a lot of things, but no, not like that. I can't even have beer anyways. Why am I even saying that? What? What? Books on deadly poisons. That's not what I'm looking for. Mm. That's an arm. I'm keeping this thing at arm's length. Okay, that was horrible. I must be really freaked out if my puns are this bad. These are these are sans quality puns right here. That's an arm. Okay, yep. Then don't say it again. Here we go. Spells and rituals. Reunited, reuniting loved ones. Okay. Looks like there are five different ingredients. The blood of a mortal enemy, the air of healer, the proof of an imaginary friend, the ashes of someone you've wronged, and the heart of someone you misunderstood. I should probably take these to Fran. Okay, well, I guess I need to take the yellow pill then, but let's look at... Okay, yep. Let's look at these. I'm curious as to how deep these shells are, but knowing that those things are hiding in them serves as a friendly... How about no? Books on paranoia and how to tell someone's really after you. That's really not what I'm looking for. Yay. This weirdo <laughs> balls label says it's po po Pojon by Laura. I feel like this was made by an 11 year old for summarizing it. Alright. Okay. And day on getting the ingredients, I'm afraid. I am afraid not. Try asking front. Uh, dang it, my voice changed. Yeah. Pill. I found a book I want to get. Oh, good. What do we need? The ingredients all I need are the blood of a mortal enemy, the hair of you. Blah, 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 blah. So now that I've told you all the ingredients, how can we get them? What's next? Well, I can think of several mortal enemies. One springs to mind. Mabuka. For the hair of a healer, maybe Paul Lantras? I have some st st stuck to my clothes still. We can just get something from Itward, I'm sure that would suffice for proof. And I wronged the twins, Clara and Mia, not that they were nice people, and they did leave ashes. I misunderstood Dr. Dern, but he died, and even if he hadn't, he'd be dead if we took his heart anyway. I don't know where you can get any of these objects, do you? No. I think Mr. Mid Midnight might. True. Alright. Are you, perhaps, seeking guidance? I... I am, by chance, or, um, per chance, yeah, that. Well, for what do you need? I just need some creepy items I would probably only be able to require in a graveyard. So, point me to the nearest graveyard. Well, perhaps you could go to a graveyard out back. You just need to flip the switches in the library in their proper position. Some trial and error should do. Thanks. Uh, wait, this place has a graveyard? Don't all horror games? FNAF doesn't. Wrong move can send you to an early grave. Touche. <laughs> I got an, an unexpected smack. Uh. So, uh. So this, this, oh this is easy, I just went with the first one and then this one, okay so it's red, green, oh I'm like I have to do it in the other world, I swear I didn't put my name in the Goblet of Fire, let's play something I'm gonna have to go to here. This looks interesting, but I'm afraid I'll have to leave this here because we are going on for a bit too long. I want to keep these more short, just because they work better that way. And that's the same for the Mark 1 uh, Hearts and Heroes, because that definitely went on for a way too long that I wanted. So yeah, I'll save real quick. And anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please spam that thumbs up with your thumbs up and subscribe to me for some awesome weekly and sometimes daily content and also hit the bell no, no icon if you, you are subscribed so you'll get notifications when i release my content and then you'll just be like whoa fresh it's 
that's fresh. Yeah. Um, and also share with friends and other people you may or may not know. Just s send it to random strangers too. They might appreciate what I make too. And um, I'll see you guys later. Bye. -o!